Hello out there, I would like to show you my last developings. They are still in a very early stage, but you can do, I think, amazing things compared to the normal uh, windows which are situated in the library, the normal windows library parts. So if I put it in, now I have to put it on the outside of the wall. The normal library parts it's equal if you do it so otherwise. And then that doesn't matter. Then it is good to first to make the x, x direction the right uh, span width of the opening. Uh, in 3D this thing is so little because the opening it doesn't matter in 2D the broadness of it. So what I can do now here in 2D is the following. I make it bigger. I open the dialog box and here Okay, that I need later. 2D Alvarez means uh, you can put on display of a sectional site, but it's still situated in the ground floor. So there's no need to switch between some other sites in Archicad. And now you can do the following. You can just put it the way you want. Here, Wand Unterkante means the bottom of the wall. And here I go to the... It's, it's not possible to read out the, the, the height of the floor level. So you have to put this manual for, for me it's not not possible to do it it's possible for normal archicad programmers but i'm not i'm just a hobby pro programmer so okay you see it's possible to get these things also out of it So I make an, a normal window equal to the one here. So if you have done the correct uh, shape of this object you want, you see it's always more possible to get new points if you want. There are no limitations for this kind of operation. And uh, I have to. So now it's here, straight and here, and here's complete, complete freeform. And now what you see is there are two additional points. With this additional point, it's possible to get horizontal uh, dividings, if you want it. And with this point, it's possible to get vertical. You can put this wherever you want. And also it's possible, you see that the height of it is the maximal height of the element. And it's not possible to get it out of the element. If you want something like this, it's possible. Also please notice uh, if you later alter the contour. These things, uh, it's possible that they go with this point. So you have to make these alterings before the alterings of the contour polygon. So, okay, that's the length of it. 
then you can do something like this. And it, you don't need to get the correct position, you just draw it into the profile and it uh, makes a perfect connection. So, one here maybe. Also, one here. And then we got this thing also in 3D. All this is also possible to make in 3D. Mm, this one. So, you see. But the problem now is that some of them go with the alterings in 3D. Okay, it's also possible to get additional things in, also in 3D, if you want it. You can put it everywhere you want. In ground floor, it's displayed too, and you put this thing off if you don't need it. You can put this thing, uh, no, okay, where is it? Okay, here. You can put it out of the normal pl plan view if you want to have it always uh, out of sight of the normal plan view. And you get a, a perfect plan and still it's lying around somewhere. But you can put it off. And past it wherever you want. Okay. So, in the side view, this one here. All the things are possible, what are possible in 3D. One problem I have, if uh, an angle is altered, that's, it's no problem to do it in 3D or here. But if the angle is not altered, it doesn't work. So you have to alter these angles in the ground floor if you want it. Okay. After it's one, once it is altered, it's possible. But if you go back to uh, an angle of the amount zero, it's, it stops working. I don't know what I have done wrong in this way, but I will find out somewhere. So now you have really a window opening, you can make nearly every uh, shape and every dividing of it complete free. Please try it and make some suggestions about the workflow and something where I can work further on. Okay, thank you for watching.